Okay, so here's my van. That's a 92 E150. And, uh, you know, I put a grill on there, a Z9 headlight, so that's not important because today what we're going to talk about is the solar panel. I'm going to teach you how to install it, how much solar panels produce. And it's going to be a pretty quick video because it's so easy to do. A lot of people think uh, they're worried about it and everything. And uh, we're just going to hop up here. This is the roof. And here's my solar panel. And as you can see, it's raining out today. And you would think that a solar panel wouldn't do anything in the rain, but that's not true. This produces just as much in the rain as it does for my battery in full sunlight. Because this is a monocrystal, oh no, this is a polycrystalline solar panel. And they have monocrystalline and polycrystalline. Polycrystalline apparently is uh, far better in low light conditions. So let's check it out. I've got my deep cycle battery here. Now this battery is completely independent from the truck. Um, I don't have it charged from the alternator or anything. It's only being charged from the solar panel. So it's in a black box. These boxes, you can get them from AutoZone or Advanced Auto. I got this one, 15 bucks. <laughs> And here's my battery. This is an EverStart deep cycle battery. It's deep cycle at 122 amp hours. So if I'm drawing one amp from this battery at all times, it'll take 122 hours for it to die completely. And um, these are the different wires that I got to it. I'll get to that in a second. Um, first things first, I have a power inverter that I have set up, which is on these two. This is an old jumper cable that I had. I chopped it up so just so that I can get a really thick gauge wire. And it goes to this here is a Cobra 1500 watt, 3000 watt power inverter. And so on the front here it tells you this is how much load it's taking. I got my refrigerator plugged into it right now. So it's taking 90 watts, which is approximately 8 or 9 amps DC. And this is how much the battery has. It's 12.1 volts with the load on it. Um, so, this is how we're gonna do it. When you buy a solar panel, it'll come with wires in the back. It'll already be wired up. So all I did was, I screwed the solar panel to the roof because this, is, this has a fiberglass roof. I was able to screw it to the roof. I siliconed everything. I caulked everything and I had a roofer friend come in and flash it with rubber just to keep it completely sealed so that nothing will ever leak in here. This thing is a charge controller. I got this on eBay for $13. This um, will take a load from a solar panel and reduce it to 12 volts and this one is 5 amps. And so all you do is you take your positive and negative line from the solar panel, you screw it in here, positive, negative, then you take your battery that's going to be charged, positive and negative. And then if you want something to run directly off of the solar panel, this one has um, this extra connector for things that run directly off the solar panel. But I don't see the point of doing that because I'm charging a battery. And anything I have, like I have a fan here, uh, all 12 volt accessories, I just plug it straight into the battery because it'll take from the battery and whatever is taken from the battery is going to be put back by the solar panel. So, as far as wiring is concerned, it's very easy just tucking the wires into different places so that you don't see them. That's the, um, that's the real hard part about it. Everything else is pretty easy. It's not complex. Um, now, this battery um, thingamabobber is going to keep my uh, battery from overcharging as well. And you can see it says charge. So, it means that the solar panel is charging the battery right now. It'll say load, which means that the solar panel is producing energy, and it'll give you an indication on how um, on how uh, fully charged or discharged your battery is. It's still raining outside, and uh, this is my van. This is the interior. I put tile floors. Uh, here's my refrigerator. It's nice and cold. It's empty. I'm just testing it. You know, I've, I've got various things that I use. So, back to this. If I want to see or I want to show you how much energy this uh, solar panel is using, I can test it with my multimeter. 
right here and now I'm on volts DC and I just connect these leads to the solar panel. So, all right, we got the leads on the solar panel. This is the slot for the solar panel, positive and negative. And it's producing for me right now 12.62 volts in the rain. Um, and uh, that's pretty good because the solar panel, it, it'll, it'll, it'll charge for you at least 12 hours out of the day. You don't have to worry about that old technology or that monocrystalline technology where it has to be full sunlight for it to produce anything. So um, we're still on this. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to switch it to AC amps. And it's giving me 39.5 AC amps, which is 3.9 DC amps. So it's charging at a rate of 3.9 DC amps and 12.62 uh, 12 point, 12 point uh, something volts in the rain. Now if you want to test your battery you can go to the battery terminal and do the same thing put them in the battery terminal and you can see that my battery has 12.17 volts which is about a 65 percent charge or so and uh, it should be around 38 amps here 36 37 30 yeah 38 amps which is 3.8 amps dc because this is an ac um amp meter so that's how it is uh, these these um solar panels are really great um, this solar panel is a 50 watt solar panel let's go outside this solar panel is a 50 watt solar panel and um i bought it on ebay and if you uh if you make a comment or message me i can tell you where you can get it this one cost me uh, about 90 dollars and it's completely sufficient for one of these batteries. If I had two batteries, I would like to have two of these 50 watt solar panels or they make a 100 watt solar panel for about $169. Um, these guys in New Jersey make them and it's very, very good quality, very good um, building methods and, and, and everything is very sealed up tight and, and, and really, really nice. Um, so you can buy the solar panel for about $90, 50 watts, and you can buy the controller for about $13, and you'll have a 50 watt system charging a battery, and you can buy the battery for $100 at Walmart, it's a 122 amp hour battery, and it's been really great for me. I've been running power tools off my inverter, I've been running um, the refrigerator for days, and uh, the solar panel seems to be keeping up with that. So. That's how you do it. If you have any questions, stick it on the comments and I'll try to get back to you. Thanks for watching.